the new California lockdown starts today with live q and I'm Chris. This is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informed, entertaining. And since today, December 7th, Monday, is the first day of California's new lockdown. And we're supposed to be staying at home. Well, I thought I would do a live stream today and talk to y'all about what the new lockdown in California is, what's open, what's closed, what the restrictions are, uh, and then I'll have plenty of time for live Q&A. You can ask me questions about the lockdown, or you can just ask me questions in general about travel, the weather, what I had for lunch today, any questions go. Uh, and if you're watching the archive and you're just here for questions, well, then you'll see that spinning question mark in the corner when it's time for questions. But first, let me share with with you what's going on in California related to the lockdown. So the order that the California government put out is called the Regional Stay-at-Home Order. It was issued on December 3rd, and it first took effect at 11.59 p.m. last night, December 6th. So today is really the first day of this order. So what this order does is it divides California into five different regions. Here's the region map that the order puts out. There's Northern California, Greater Sacramento, Bay Area, San Joaquin Valley, and Southern California. I'm in Southern California in Orange County, but I want you to notice this map that like Southern California is actually this weird kind of U-shaped thing. Uh, and so what the order does is it says that lockdowns are going to take effect in these different regions based on intensive care unit bed capacity. When intensive care unit bed capacity at the hospitals for the region drops below 15%, then these orders will take effect. So these orders took effect today in uh, the Southern California region and the San Joaquin Valley region. The Bay Area has issued its own orders that are essentially as restricted is these, so it technically hasn't kicked in there yet. Uh, and so Northern California and Greater Sacramento are still above 15% available, but I'm sure it'll be kicking in soon just the way the trend is. So what does this order do? What does this order close? Well, first of all, the first thing it does uh, is prohibits all gatherings of members of other households in the region. So theoretically, households are supposed to stay to their own household. Um, and uh, people in the region are supposed to stay at home or at their residence, except as necessary to conduct activities associated with operations, maintenance, or usage of critical infrastructure or as specifically permitted by this order. So let's talk about what's permitted by this order. Uh, it goes on to say that worship and political expression are permitted outdoors. Um, and it also says that uh, schools can continue to operate if they're operating. But we're talking about travel. So what's important from a travel perspective? Well, first of all, uh, all retailers in the regions that are locked down uh, are allowed to have no more than 20% capacity. So whatever their fire capacity is, they have to reduce it to one-fifth. For small retailers, this might be a big deal. If it's a small shop for big retailers like Target, um, we saw a sign at Target last night that said they are limiting the capacity of Target to 631 customers. That's a lot of customers because uh, it's a big store, so it has a lot of fire capacity. Um, but uh, uh, the state of California is also asking um, retailers to have people standing at the front door to make sure they stay in compliance with the number of people that are inside. So if you're in California, you'll see a lot more people standing at front doors, counting people coming in and out, stores only having one entrance in and out so that they can count the number of people that are inside. Now, a lot of people have asked me about, uh, are the beaches open? Are the parks open? And so the order actually goes on to say, to promote and protect the physical and mental well-being of people in California, outdoor recreation facilities may continue to operate, though those facilities may not sell food or drink for on-site consumption, and overnight stays at campgrounds are not permitted. So if you are planning to camp at a campground in California over the holidays, um, don't bet on that. Uh, but if you want to go to the beach or you want to go to a park, uh, or you want to go for a hike, those things are all open. The other big thing that applies to travelers, uh, two of them, one is that no uh, dining on site at restaurants in lockdown regions is allowed. That means no 
indoor dining, no outdoor dining. Restaurants can only sell takeout. Uh, and then the other one, this is interesting, talks about hotels. And the state of California is actually asking hotels to not accept or honor out-of-state reservations for non-essential travel unless the reservation is for at least the minimum time period required for quarantine uh, and that the people who are staying in the room say they will quarantine. So um, California is recommending a 14-day quarantine for people coming into California from other states. And so it's really interesting to see that the government's actually asking hotels to uh, try to check in on that or make sure of that. Um, this order will stay effect in each of the lockdown regions for at least three weeks from the time it takes effect. So in Southern California, that's going to be uh, at least through Christmas. Um, but it's uh, it'll be there for like three weeks after the like ICU bed capacity like comes back up. Um, so well, actually, it says if after three weeks from the effective date. Um, then the terms of the order shall no longer apply. So uh, I guess if three weeks are here and then ICU bed capacity 15%, then these expire. If not, they continue to stay in place. So when will they end? It is hard to say. Now, uh, that's what the order says. The California State website uh, goes on to a few more detail about specifically things that are closed. So let's go ahead and talk about that now. Uh, all children's playgrounds are closed, indoor and outdoor playgrounds. Uh, hair salons and barber shops are closed. Personal care services, uh, the tanning salons, that sort of stuff. Museums, zoos, aquariums are closed. Uh, movie theaters, unless they're a drive-in, are closed. Wineries, bars, breweries, and distilleries are closed. Family entertainment centers are closed, so no mini golf. Uh, card rooms and satellite wagering, um, which sounds like casinos to me, uh, though there's a lot of Native American casinos, and so they have a different jurisdiction in the state than actually the state has. Um, live audience sports and, of course, amusement parks. Why are they calling out amusement parks? Because the state of California provided limited guidance to amusement parks to say small ones could open and open their attractions. Um, downtown Disney is planning to stay open, but they're only planning to have their shops open. Downtown Disney will be closing all of the restaurants. Knott's Berry Farm, which has been doing a food festival, uh, they're closing completely effective today. Uh, and then Legoland, which we just published a video on over the weekend, uh, they announced that yesterday, Sunday, December 6th, was the last day uh, that they were doing the holidays. Um, and uh, the other things, uh, previously in previous orders, uh, indoor shopping malls were closed. Indoor shopping malls are still allowed to be open under this order, but they have to have that 20% uh, limit. And the, the one that a lot of people talk about that's interesting, uh, this order makes an exception for the entertainment industry that says uh, industry studios and other related establishments uh, that provide content for professional broadcast can operate just without um, live audiences. So uh, if you've been enjoying uh, seeing the Price is Right or Let's Make a Deal on TV with that 10-person live audience, uh, no more for now. So that is everything you need to know about the order. It is now, fellow explorers, it is now Q&A time. If you've got a question, I've got an answer. And so, by the way, you might be noticing that I'm doing this in a little different spot today. I am doing this in the Yellow Productions backyard, and I should probably change the brightness on this. Let's see, to make myself brighter. Which way? That way? Too bright? How's that? Does that look better? Does that, does that face look better or is that too blown out? I'm going to go with this brightness now for a little bit. This is, uh, I figure with the lockdown, let's go to a different room. Let's go to a different environment. Let's make it cheerful. Uh, this is not about being sad and depressed that we're home, but telling you about what it is and then spending some time with y'all uh, just chatting. Again, about travel, about the lockdown, uh, or you might want to know what I'm drinking today. So today I've got a drink from the Alley. This is a... Uh, boba tea shop from Taiwan. It, they bring the drinks in these neat um, bags that are like designed just for the size of cups. And I like 
these boba tea shops that seal the drink with a like a heat sealer so you can turn this thing literally upside down and nothing will leak out of it because that top is sealed on there but because they do that the straws that you get to drink from have a little pointy thing at the end uh, because you have to be able to puncture that and then drink um, Today I'm drinking the Royal Number no. 9 milk tea, which is a blueberry flavored milk tea. All right. Pretty tasty. Uh, all right. And uh, people said that the new lighting looks good. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, if my exposure changes and gets bad again, uh, let me know and I'll go turn that ring over there. Um, Emil asks if I like coffee. I am not a huge coffee drinker. OC Girl is the coffee drinker in the family. Um, she likes, uh, I would say, um, espresso-based beverages, uh, but she also gets regular coffee, too. I like coffee in good places, like if we go to Italy or things like that that has actually good coffee, then uh, I like that. Uh, Colleen I want to know if this lockdown affects my work. Uh, so my day job uh, is in the computer industry, and we've been telecommuting, uh, essentially like teleworking or maximum remote work since the pandemic started in March. Um, so we're continuing on that same posture. I'm actually starting to take some time off uh, for the holidays. And so that's also why I'm with you here at uh, perhaps an earlier time than usual on a weekday. Um, Gaming Kingdom wants to know, are markets going to be open? Uh, supermarkets, grocery stores are going to be open. Uh, they're going to be held at that 20% capacity. Previously, they were operating at a 50% capacity. So in California, I would expect a lot more lines at grocery stores and supermarkets. Owen, the pigeon and piggy fan, wants to know if I like Starbucks. Um, it's okay. I, I, I have nothing against Starbucks. OC Girl really likes Starbucks uh, locations that have the Clover coffee. Clover is like their high-end coffee brewing machine. If I'm really tired someplace and I'm on travel, I will go to Starbucks and get a cappuccino and it's okay. If I'm really thirsty, I will go to Starbucks and get an iced tea. I, I don't seek out Starbucks. Like I say, I prefer um, sort of more interesting and unique beverages. And I'm more of a teetotaler than a coffee drinker. Mm. And uh, Kathy says that she... Uh, loves when the live streams are in my backyard. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. I think this, I think I did what, like the hangout, the, the fan hangout that we did back here. I think this might be the first live stream I've done from the backyard. It takes a bit of time to set up all the stuff out here, and I also have to do it uh, at a certain time of day when the lighting's good, so that makes it a little bit more challenging to stream in the backyard. Uh, Ma wants to know, what's that larger tree in the backyard? It looks like a mango tree. This tree back here? I, I honestly, I don't, I think it's called like a fan tree. You know, if we had uh, Ben, the travel man from Australia, he knows everything about plants. I bet he could tell us exactly what tree that is. If any of you on the live stream know what kind of tree that is, I would actually like to know the term. I've always called it a fan tree because the, the leaves, they kind of have like a branch and then it like has like five leaves that uh, branch out. Kirk is asking, who cuts my hair? Uh, Kirk, I think you probably know the answer to that, uh, but I cut my hair with the Floby, the vacuum hair cutting device, uh, which actually George Clooney just came out and said uh, he cuts his hair with the Floby as well. I've been cutting my hair with the Floby vacuum hair cutting device for over 20 years. If you haven't seen my video on it, search for Yellow Productions Floby. Uh, you can see how I cut my hair and how that all works, so I do it myself. Ryan wants to know, what's the favorite airport for long layovers? Uh, my favorite airport anywhere is Singapore. Um, though I usually don't lay over in Singapore because it's so far away. So I would say my favorite airport then that I lay over the most uh, is Tokyo Narita, just because it's a really good airport to go to to then lay over to the rest of uh, Asia. Why do I like Tokyo Narita? I mean, the lounges aren't the most amazing. The airport's not the most amazing, but I like that the airport is efficient. I like that it's clean. Uh, so I am not worried that I'm going to be stuck in security forever. I'm not worried that planes are going to break down as much. So that's why I like Tokyo Narita. Figo uh, loves Earth Cafe coffee. Earth Cafe uh, is a coffee shop to Southern California. I, I like the pastries at Earth Cafe more than I like the coffee. Oh, and the pigeon wants to know if restaurants are going to be open under the lockdown. 
restaurants are open only for takeout, so no dining inside or outside. Uh, I went to lunch today at a taco shop that I usually like to go to. It has, uh, it had seats outside. They had taken away all the chairs, uh, so I had to eat my tacos in my car. Gaming Kingdom wants to know if California is the only state that's closed. I just think there's plenty of states that have restrictions. I believe California has the biggest or largest restrictions currently. Um, now, you know, Nevada often follows California. So is it coming to Nevada, to Las Vegas? I wouldn't be surprised because Nevada's almost like followed California at lockstep in a lot of these orders. Uh, Caitlin wants to know, in Santa Clara County, the state public uh, health department has their own quarantine order regardless of transportation type and coming in from a minimum of 150 miles. How are they enforcing it? How is anybody enforcing any of this is a really great question. You know, when they say, um, right, don't gather with people outside of your household. I mean, it's much more like a please, the state government says please, or the county government says please abide by this. I think there's a lot of this that's unenforceable, and there's also been a lot of mm, newsworthy drama out lately of a lot of like county sheriff's departments saying that um, they don't want to be involved in enforcing this, which then is going to leave it to like the health departments or other parts of the government that um, likely are not set up very well to actually do enforcement. Um, Kirk asks if I've ever been on the EVA airline with Hello Kitty. I was on the Hello Kitty airline once. I didn't intend to book it, but it was a trip where I was going to Singapore, and I misconnected, and they rebooked me on an EVA airline flight, and it was the Hello Kitty flight, which was just super awesome. I was so tired because the layover, I got my flight was delayed forever and ever and ever, that I didn't do any video on it that I should have uh, next time. Orca Productions wants to know, do I like In-N-Out Burger or McDonald's? I hope this is another trick question. I love In-N-Out Burger, uh, definitely over McDonald's, and uh, the last meal OC Girl and I had outside, dining out, outside, at a physical restaurant, was In-N-Out Burger last night. We figured that was kind of a ceremonial uh, before the lockdown. Actually, the last meal that I had at a restaurant before this, not this order, but the original lockdown took effect like in March, my mom and I were eating an In-N-Out Burger just at the time uh, when they were like, okay, this is the last order. Everything after this is takeout only. And they were like taping off the table. So uh, let's see. Uh, Cheryl uh, says some love from Canada. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, Beverly wants to know when I'm getting my jabs over there. I, jabs, I'm not... When is somebody going to jab me? I'm not sure what you mean about when am I getting my jabs. Jeff Pike says, what if you travel from California these days? Do you have to quarantine when you come back? I believe that is the spirit of the 14-day quarantine for people coming into the state from other places. Um, so I believe if you're from California and you travel outside of the state, then you are supposed to quarantine for 14 days upon your return. Um Chris559 uh, asked a similar question about out-of-state visitors. So the order recommends that everybody coming into the state um, quarantines for two weeks. Though if you're staying at a hotel, they're going to try to enforce that by making sure you book it for two weeks. Um, who's going to be uh, looking at you in your house or how are they enforcing it? I, I don't have an answer for you on that one, but that is the recommendation. Um Let's see. Uh, Larry wants to know uh, if I like In-N-Out more or Habit Burger. I also like In-N-Out Burger more than the Habit Burger. I do like the Habit Burger, which is a burger chain from Santa Barbara, California. In particular, the burger I like it, uh, the Habit Burger, is called their Santa Barbara-style char burger. It has uh, sourdough bread that they grill, and then they spread the avocado on the sourdough bread, and then it's got two patties of beef, cheese, uh, and grilled onions. It's really quite good. Um, now, Roy uh, has another question about it. Lots of questions about In-N-Out Burger today. Uh, do I like uh, In-N-Out or Shake Shack better? I'm going to say I eat. I'm not going to say. Well, I am going to say. But I eat at In-N-Out Burger more uh, because In-N-Out Burger is cheaper. So I believe In-N-Out Burger is a better value than Shake Shack is. Um, but the meat at Shake Shack's pretty good. Like, Shake Shack has a pretty good burger. And it, it almost pains me inside to say that the Shake Shack burger itself might be 
better than In-N-Out Burger because I'm just such an In-N-Out Burger fanboy. But uh, shake, like a meal at Shake Shack costs like twice as much as what the meal at In-N-Out Burger does. So I still give overall value to In-N-Out Burger. Um, Kirk says, I have a lot of credit card points saved because of the lockdown. What are you saving your points for? I have a lot of points saved for the lockdown, too. I'm saving my points for stays at Hyatt Hotels, which is what I save most of my Chase Ultimate Rewards points for. And I'm saving my United Airlines for when we take our next international trip someplace. Uh, Where's that going to be? Um, one of our trips coming up will definitely be to Taiwan when things reopen. We definitely want to go back to Japan. Um, we were actually just uh, like, oh, it's winter. Where would be a cool, snowy place to go? We're like, we'd like to go to Finland, Helsinki, which has been on our list for a while. We just uh, have never been there. Um, Strawberry wants to know um, what I recommend in San Diego. If you haven't seen my San Diego travel guide, check that one out. It's like 10 things to know before you go to San Diego or some number. Uh, I recommend visiting La Jolla. La Jolla is one of my favorite neighborhoods there. Um, just need to wander around. When you're there, it's definitely cool to check out the, the cave if it's open. There's this place called the La Jolla Cave Shop. It's a sea cave that you kind of like walk in through this tunnel down these stairs. Uh, also visit Balboa Park, uh, the largest urban park other than Central Park uh, in New York City and visit the Hotel Del Coronado, the largest wooden hotel on the west coast of the U.S. Um, Gamer Girl wants to know, what was the best vacation you ever took and why? I'm going to say the best vacation I ever took was uh, when OC Girl and I went to Japan in 2004. That was my first time ever going to Japan, and that's really, I would say, the start of this channel and everything from it started from that trip. We went to Osaka, uh, Kyoto, uh, Tokyo. We kind of did like the whole circle thing. It was really awesome. Um, and oh, like other than that, I'd before that trip, I'd only been to uh, the Czech Republic, which is where my family is from, uh, and like Mexico, Tijuana, uh, and the UK to London. Those are like the international places I'd went. And you know, Europe like is cool, but it's it's similar enough to the US that it, it didn't feel amazing or magical. And then when I went to Japan, I'm like, oh my gosh, this place like it's so different. And I I learned so much, and I. Uh, I loved it, and that's when the travel bug hit me. So that was my favorite trip ever. Larry wants to know, do I have a PlayStation 5? I do not have a PlayStation 5. Um, probably with our uh, little daughter, Explorer, who's uh, turning one year old this month. We'll probably get some video games for her when she gets old enough to play them. And I'm looking forward to playing them with her, though I spend more of my time now uh, either making videos, editing videos, or... Um, playing with our daughter or going on a hike with her than I do playing video games. Would I like to play more video games? I wish I had more time to play video games. I bet Gamer Girl uh, does play a lot of video games. My favorite ice cream topping is hot fudge, like on a hot fudge sundae. Uh, Chris says, good day. It's my 40th birthday next week. My wife asked me what I want. I said, you know, burger. Unfortunately, I can't have one. Can you have a double-double for me, please? Chris, I will have a double-double for you, and I will I will send you a picture of it. Um, JC says, what's my favorite hotel in Waikiki? I have a video all about a hotel, like where to stay on Oahu. Um, so check that one out. But my, my kind of like my go-to hotel in Waikiki that I stay at the most is the Marriott in Waikiki. Um, I'm a Marriott Titanium, which means I get free breakfast there. I, I like their breakfast buffet. I don't know what they're doing right now, but I'll just talk about hotels when they're like actually operating for real. Um, the other hotel I really like, I like the Sheraton in Waikiki. There's two. Um, there's one that's right on the ocean, and then there's like the Sheraton Princess something. Don't stay at the Sheraton Princess something. That one's kind of like old and run down. But the Sheraton that's right on the water, uh, that one's really nice as well. I also like the Weston Moana Surfrider. That's a cool classic hotel. Um, but those are generally more expensive than the Marriott Waikiki, which is why I often stay at the Marriott Waikiki. Gamer Girl wants to know if I'm into podcasts or I only listen to music. I listen to a lot of music. I, I listen to some podcasts, but they're often like pod like really boring podcasts about like 
how to make better YouTube videos. I listen to like the Video Creators podcast. Um, OC Girl, she really likes like a lot of the crime junkies and things like that podcasts. When uh, actually the crime junkies, the two girls who host that show, they did like a live show in Los Angeles uh, in downtown LA. And we went to see like a live uh, reading or recording of one of the crime junkies podcasts. Um... Rob says, is riding bikes in San Diego a good idea? It depends what you mean about good idea, uh, but I think San Diego has a lot of really great bike paths. Um, Depends on what part of San Diego you are in. My favorite place to ride bikes in San Diego is Mission Beach and Pacific Beach along the boardwalk. I also like to ride it around Mission Bay. Um, You know, if you're like in downtown San Diego or in like Hillcrest or some of the urban areas, I wouldn't do it because the streets don't have a lot of room for bikes. But if if you want to ride bikes, I would ride them around uh, Mission Beach and Pacific Beach in San Diego. Um, Let's see. Uh... Gamer Girl has a lot of questions today, and it's great. I love it. It's a Q&A live stream. What's my go-to guilty pleasure? Probably eating an In-N-Out burger is my guilty go-to pleasure. I also really like nachos. So if I go to a Mexican restaurant and they have nachos, and when I say nachos, I mean nachos with, like, like actual nacho cheese, not, like, lame melted regular cheese, but, like, liquid cheese. I love liquid cheese. Um, let's see. Uh... Gamer Girl also asks, how old were you when you had your first celebrity crush, and who was it? Oh, that's a good question. Um, maybe the first one would be, like, I watched a lot of Married with Children, that sitcom growing up, and so um, the blonde girl that was the older daughter in Married with Children, I can't remember the name of the actress, uh, but uh, that character or actress. Um Melissa wants to know what's on my wish list for Christmas. I'm I'm never very good at that. OC girl always asks me what I want for Christmas, and I always tell her just to surprise me. Um, so I ha- I have nothing on my wish list for Christmas. I just I hope that Santa thinks that I'm nice and doesn't give me coal. Mr. Beluga wants to know what hotel we stayed at while visiting Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, it's close enough to our house that we drove. It's about two hours from here, so we did that as a day trip. Um, Previously, uh, we've stayed in Palm Springs. That's where we would have stayed if we stayed there. Uh, We really liked, it's like the Renaissance Esmeralda or something in Palm Springs. There's also a nice JW Marriott in Palm Springs as well. All the hotels around um, Joshua Tree are really kind of lame. Melissa wants to know, what's a good place to stay in Florida? Florida's a huge state, uh, so that's hard to answer. Um... You know, like, are you looking for cities? Are you are you looking for hotels in Orlando? I really liked the JW Marriott there. It had like a really neat like I don't know, lazy river water ride. Um, Miami's really cool too. I'll just say those as two cities, and I mean, there's there's lots of good hotels. Um, uh, Abdul Aziz says, "What's the best way to find a good deal to rent a car?" Uh, so I've got a whole video written about that that I haven't shot yet, but. My best recommendation is to like try to search out like coupon codes or rental car companies and then like try to plug those in at the rental car companies because if you can find good coupon codes, they're usually like eight or you know six digit things that you can type in there as like discount codes, then you can often get like half the price of uh, the regular public rentals. Um, Daniel wants to know any update on Las Vegas lockdowns? No updates uh, lately. I mean, there's certainly some rumors that they may enter into another lockdown, uh, but there's nothing official. Sean, um, and this scrolled off my screen. Uh, Sean, where did it go? I can't find it now. But Sean said, um, what's my favorite hotel in Singapore? It is the uh, Conrad Hotel in Singapore. Um the Uniplex wants to know how many hours a day do I spend on my YouTube channel? I, it's, it's that's a harder question to answer than just like that because I don't, I don't spend an equivalent amount of time every day on my YouTube channel just from having a, a regular forty hour a week uh, job during the week, forty hour a week job during the week. I guess that's when you work a normal job, right, nine to five. Um, but if I like averaged it over the week, I would say two two hours a day 
if I averaged it over the whole week, I would say I spend two hours a day uh, on my YouTube channel. So maybe that's like 20 hours a week total. I don't know. I like when I. It depends. Like when I go shoot a video, if I'm going to like downtown Disney to shoot a video, it like maybe it takes four hours to shoot the video. It takes a couple hours to edit the video, make the thumbnail. It's probably four, like four hours to shoot, four hours to edit. Um, so eight hours. I put out one video a week, uh, and I do a live stream a week. For like a one-hour live stream, it usually takes me two to three hours to prepare like my notes and some of the things I'm going to talk about. So I don't sit here and just go. Um, yeah, and then yeah, I respond to comments and do all that sort of stuff. So that's where we go. Um, Gamer Girl wants to know, what's the first thing I would do if I'd won the lottery? Uh, like, assuming it was a big lot, like, I've won the lottery before, and, and by that I mean I've won the ticket that you, like, you win, like, $3. Hmm. It's probably not what you mean. Uh, but if I won the lottery for real, I would uh, take a bunch of time off of, uh, take a bunch of time and go to Japan and travel Japan, kind of like travel the whole country from north to south. I think that would be a lot of fun. Yoshi wants to know, what's my favorite thing about Santa Cruz? My favorite thing about Santa Cruz is the Santa Cruz boardwalk. I think it's really neat to have those like old-timey boardwalk right in the beach. If you like roller coasters, definitely ride that wooden roller coaster. It's super scary because it feels like you're going to fall out of it. Uh, and uh, Sailing Avocet's here and says, Santa Cruz is my hometown. Very cool. It's uh, it, We really... We really like Santa Cruz, uh, and so we definitely want to go back to Santa Cruz. I also like, um, I also really like Pizza My Heart. It's kind of like this pizza chain uh, that's in Santa Cruz as well. Um, Gamer Girl says, "Are you more of a work to live or a live to work type of person?" Uh, I would say I am more of a live to work type of person live to work type of person no i'm a work to live kind of person uh so i i like to live life is about living and life is about enjoying things and i think certainly related to travel and you can probably see it as my take on travel that um you know there's a lot of people who say well i'm gonna work and put my nose to the grindstone and then i'm gonna save a bunch of money and then i'm gonna travel when i'm retired and a lot of times people they just never get there they don't enjoy their work while they're doing it they burn out and so i like to work at something that i enjoy so that i can enjoy life as i as i go about it i think life is made to be enjoyed as opposed to life is made to um be a slave uh abdul aziz wants to know what's the best euro in california there, there's probably more Euro shops than I've been to. I really like a chain in um, Southern California. They're in San Diego and Orange County. Uh, it's called the Kebab Shop. Uh, K-E-B-A-B, -B, Kebab Shop. Uh, they make a really good donor kebab. It's not particularly a Euro. I guess they have a traditional style Euro. It's kind of like a lamb beef mixture that has a really good garlic sauce. So that's my favorite uh Sailing Avocet wants to know, if I could sail anywhere, where would I sail? I, like, I've got two thoughts on this, you know, and I, I know uh, when when you all joined me for the live stream, you know, you talked about wanting to sail, like, on a really long sail to, like, Hawaii and being in the middle of the ocean and being away for that long. And I'm like, that's a, that's a long time. That's a long time at sea. I think it would be fun to do like a sailing trip maybe along the Mediterranean in Europe, you know, stopping at like the different cities like along Italy and things like that and sail to each one. I think that'd be awesome because then that way I I wouldn't ever be too far from land. Gaming Kingdom wants to know if I go fishing and what do I catch? I do not go fishing. I hate fishing. Can't stand fishing. I, f I have a fishing story which when I was smaller, smaller? younger when i was younger and i was in the boy scouts i guess i was in the cub scouts we did like a fishing thing and uh one of the other boy scouts actually caught me yeah you know they they did their hook the, the, the what <laughs> the fishing rod back hook, and the hook uh, caught caught me yeah that was not a lot of fun so i have not fished since then that's my traumatizing fishing story kimchi couple says we really love southern california la and oc for food trips do you think things will open back up in january or is it too early to forecast that a kimchi couple it's really hard to say at this point i i would not hold my breath for early january you know um obviously the the, 
The first stay-at-home order was for two weeks that lasted months. This one is for three weeks uh, or until ICU bed capacity gets better. Um, obviously, I, th I think with the vaccine coming, things will get better. There's a light at the end of this tunnel. This will not be a forever condition. It's kind of lame while we're in this condition, uh, but I wouldn't make be I wouldn't make like set in stone plans for January. And if you're if you're picking the end of January, I you know be conservative and pick the end of uh, January. Nushk says uh, 15 days to visit Tokyo and Seoul. Will it be doable, enjoyable? I'm planning for late 2021. Uh, if you've never been to Japan before, I would take 15 days and just visit Japan. Um, but if you're just visiting the cities of Tokyo and you're visiting the cities of Seoul, I, I think you can do that uh, in 15 days. Um, I would allocate like maybe more days to Tokyo and like less days to Seoul. You know, I would do like of, of the 15, you know, maybe nine of them in uh, Tokyo and then six of them in Seoul. Uh, Robert wants to know if Hodad's has the best burgers in San Diego. Uh, I like Hodad's. Hodad's has really good burgers. I think as far as like a non-chain or like independent restaurant, yeah, I think Hodad's does make like the best kind of like independent uh, restaurant burgers. Um, Wu Tai asks if I think river cruises are worth it. You know, OC Girl and I, we were talking about that the other day and we were like, well, now that we have a, a, like a little one, you know, Maybe it might be fun to do a river cruise. OC girl gets seasick, uh, so like being out in the open ocean might be kind of like. Meh. Um, but we are actually thinking about doing a river cruise. Uh, the prices they're expensive. Like when we looked at, you know, you look at like a Caribbean cruise and it's like fifteen hundred a person for a week, and you look at like a European river cruise and it's like four thousand a person for a week. Um, but uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably have to tell you after I did it whether I think it's worth it since we've never done it before. Uh, Nush wants to know if I've ever thought of doing the private one-day helicopter uh, Nihao Island tour. I, I guess I'm one of those people that um, likes my feet on the ground or in safe things. So I, I've never done a helicopter tour. Um, it's probably not high in my list just because I'm not much of a daredevils. Um Larry wants to know if I'm still here. I am still here, Larry. I don't know if you're talking to me or if you're talking to someone else. Uh, Colleen wants to know how my parents are dealing with the lockdown. I think as good as they can, um, all things considered. Um, you know, I mean, I, I think it's kind of a, a drag for everyone, um, but I, I think they're, I think they're keeping up. Um, David wants to know how do I always stay so calm. Because I drink lots of milk tea. I ate lots of In-N-Out Burger. I, positivity is my superpower. If I was a superhero, positivity would be my superhero. I think I just, I take the perspective that things will work themselves out. Things will be okay. Um, and again, that this isn't a forever condition. You know, even related to uh, I, a previous live stream, uh, last week, I talked about what to do if your flight is delayed or canceled, and in that stream, I talked about the number one thing to do is just to remain calm and to figure out what to do next. Uh, and so I'm, I'm sort of that, to be like, well, you know, now that California's in this lockdown, I will not be eating at restaurants or on the patio of an up burger. I'll be eating in my car and doing different things than I thought, and, and that's fine, and I just think about what those things are and, and go for it. Um, Let's see. Joe wants to know if Las Vegas is safe to visit. I, I guess it depends what you mean by safe. Um, the COVID cases are pretty high in Las Vegas right now, and the strip is kind of sketchy because there aren't that many tourists. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that for right now. Uh, Orca Production wants to know, have you been on the Sunrise Express in Japan? I have never been on the Sunrise Express in Japan. Um, <laughs> yeah, and Dr. Richmond says, speaking of Japan, happy Pearl Harbor Day. Happy Pearl Harbor Day. Boom, boom, boom. Shh. Yes, today is the anniversary anniversary of Pearl Harbor. Uh, Colleen asks if your little explorer is starting to solo walk. Uh, she can take like maybe like 10 steps by herself now solo, and she's really like excited when she does that. Um, but uh, she's not really, like, really walking yet. Um, Kopitar asks, if I've ever heard of a YouTube channel about Kauai called On Hawaii Time. I have not. 
should I check it out? Here, I will, I will write down that and I will check it out later. Yeah, you're up. Okay. Um, Wendy uh, asks if I should cancel my birthday Vegas trip on the 18th. I'm flying from California. I. I don't know what part of California are you flying from? How far have you been to Vegas before? All these sorts of things. Uh, I, I'm generally advising people like if they've if they've been to Vegas a whole bunch of times, they know what it is. They're going there to like eat, see the volcano, see what it's like now. They they need to get out of their quarantine fatigue. Then then go and, and do it. But know that you're you're going to a different Vegas. For people who are like, it's my first trip to Vegas. Um, I'm often recommending that maybe people do that later uh, because if it's your first trip to Vegas, you're just you're not going to see much of the real Vegas. It's going to be kind of kind of meh compared to what it usually is. Uh, Sailing Avis had asked if I'd rather visit somewhere hot or somewhere cold. Um, OC Girl and I differ on this one. I probably like warmer places, although I like warm, dry places. I don't like humid places. Even though I spend a lot of time in Asia, um, Singapore, Thailand, those places in their their version of summer, which is almost all year round, but in their version of the hot season, uh, is just is just soul sucking. The the heat and the humidity. Um, now, OC Girl says, so she'd rather go places that are cold, you know, and, and this year, in February, before it all locked down, we went to um, Japan to Fukushima Prefecture in the mountains, where it was negative eight degrees Celsius. It was so cold. I've never been in any place that cold. I'm sure there's many of you on here that are like, Chris, negative eight Celsius isn't that cold. I've been in colder places. It was so cold that uh, my memory card failed on the camera, and the camera stopped working. So, um, yeah. You know, uh, there there is too cold. There is too cold for sure. Uh, speaking of Japan, Strawberry Puppy uh, Kisses says Abroad in Japan is a good Japan travel channel. Absolutely. I like Abroad in Japan for Japan videos. Uh, he's a funny British guy. Um, Vegas Mooch wants to know, can anyone explain in San Francisco why you can't gather with anyone inside your household? Yet you can still attend outdoor fitness programs with up to 12 people. Wouldn't you inhale deeper while exercising? Um, let's see. I will. I will read the. Uh, I will read what they said in the in the regional stay-at-home order, uh, if I can find it, which says. Um, Oh, it's on this other page. It's on this other page. It's on this other page. Except no hotel, this, that. Well, now I can't find it. But basically, they say, uh, like, to contribute to mental well-being, um, that's why outdoor, like, fitness activities are still open. Because, um, you know, in California, and not related to outdoor fitness classes, but, like, when they closed the beaches last time, that was... That was really kind of depressing. I mean, I like the beach and to not be able to go to the beach for so long and to see, like, the police patrolling the beach so people didn't go on it. And I get that when we talk about why people get sick or how they get sick, you know, it's like, well, they gather with a lot of people. But, you know, there's also a lot of people at the beach that are just, like, one person walking on the beach. You know, when my little explorer and I and my wife are going for a walk by ourselves on a beach with nobody, seems like that should be something we could do. So I think they've tried to take a more practical approach to that this time. Uh, Melissa wants to know when I think London will start allowing U.S. visitors back. Well, the U.K. is starting to distribute their vaccine, I think, this week. Um, so probably when they feel they've inoculated enough people. Sailing Avocet wants to know what my favorite travel music is. Um, so I really like... Uh, I really like like Japanese pop music. I like K-pop music too. Uh, but if we're traveling, like say like we're doing like a driving trip across the U.S., then we like to put on like country music, like banjo, kind of like but bing 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 bing. You know, it's like good. It's good driving music. Uh, Wu Tai wants to know if I've ever stopped in New Zealand before. New Zealand has never been on my way to anywhere, uh, so I've never stopped there. I would like to go to New Zealand. I never, I've never been. Um, AZ wants to know what hidden or other must-travel places are in or around San Diego if this is my third time visiting San Diego. Not knowing what places you've been to before, that's a hard one to do. I would tell you, um, take a look at my Carlsbad video if you haven't seen it recently. Uh, I kind of show you like Carlsbad as a city. It's kind of fun. I have a good video on La Jolla. 
shows you a whole bunch of things. La Jolla, including that La Jolla cave, if you haven't been there. Um, uh, like kind of another really interesting spot, and this is probably uh, hidden maybe, that most people don't know about, is the um, Border Field State Park. It's a park that's on the southwesternmost part of San Diego that runs like on the U.S. side of the border fence. It's just interesting to see here's the U.S., here's Mexico, here's the Border Patrol. There's a monument that kind of like um, – designates like the most southwestern corner of the United States. You can call it interesting. You might call it sad if you're there too. Um, just kind of how militarized the border has become. Uh, but uh, I would say that would be uh, my off the beaten path uh, recommendation. Um, Strawberry Preppy Kisses says, uh, yeah, th there have been some cheap fares to places like Japan for 150 bucks. Just um, no, no Americans can fly on it. Um, Y4 says, so the talk that LA's restrictions include no walking is false, right? Uh, yes, uh, the restrictions do not um, restrict walking, but the restrictions do restrict gathering with members of other households. So in theory, you could say you can walk with members of your own household, but you can't walk with members of other households. Hmm. Um, now, who's going to enforce that? Right. Those are those are questions that I'm sure someone's going to type that and ask it. Uh, and so I, I guess I'll, I'll just leave that for you to ponder. Um, Rob wants to know, how long is the drive from San Francisco to Big Sur on Route 1? Uh, that's probably like a good... Uh, that's probably like a good day of a drive. I mean, I don't, I don't know the number of hours, but if you're doing that, you know, like you won't just want to drive straight through. You'll want to stop in, you know, Santa Cruz, in Monterey, in Carmel, and then get to Big Sur. So I would, I would allocate a day for that drive. Um, if you're like us, uh, then you might actually want to uh, overnight in. Uh, either Santa Cruz or Monterey. Big Easy Sports Talk says, what are must-eat places along the Pacific Coast Highway? Pacific Coast Highway, it's the highway that runs along the coast in California. Um, so there's so many places to eat, frankly. I'd say just, you know, my one favorite place, and I always forget the name of it, but if you're in San Luis Obispo, uh, there's this really awesome place in downtown San Luis Obispo for... Uh, tri-tip sandwiches. It's called like Firehouse or Firehook, maybe Firehook. Um, if you just look for the most rated place on Yelp in St. Louis, so you'll find this place. Go get the tri-tip sandwich. The other recommendation I have for you is in Nipomo, California. It is like uh, near Santa Barbara. Uh, Nipomo, California. It's a little town. Uh, and they have... The, it's like some of the best wood-fired steaks I've been to anywhere, and it's called Jocko's. J O C K O S. Jocko's. If you're if you're in like Central California, um, you know, check check that one out. Central Coastal California. Elliot says, "Hey, Chris, can you describe Las Vegas versus Laughlin? Caesars is flying my boyfriend and I there from Evansville, Indiana. Hotel shuttle between airport and casino. All taxes and fees included for ninety-nine dollars. I have never been to Laughlin, and so that's a that's a hard one for me to describe. But the way I would say I would understand Laughlin to be is much more of a locals' place, much much less flashy than Las Vegas. Um, but I think for 99 bucks that includes the hotel and the shuttle and, and even the flights, that sounds pretty good to me. I would probably go explore it for that kind of price. I actually, Elliot, let me know what you, what you think the difference is after you go. And if anybody on the live stream has a perspective, uh, please let a fellow traveler know. Drop it in the comments and I'll, I'll read it out. Um, Jamie says, uh, if we live in California, can we still travel out of state for a vacation for a mental break from home? Yes, but the order recommends that you quarantine for 14 days when you return to California because then you are an out-of-state uh, visitor. 
Um, Sailing Avocet says, I used to be a semi-professional snowboarder before moving on to a boat. Sometimes I miss the snow. For sure. I've never been that professional at snowboarding. I've been a really amateur snowboarder. I prefer snowboarding to skiing. Um, but, you know, the good part about Southern California uh, is you can easily get to the mountains, right? Like Mountain High or something like that. I don't know how far that is from Ventura, um, but it's not that far from uh, L.A. or Orange County. Uh, Dry Cell wants to know if I have ever ordered the 4x4 from In-N-Out Burger. So if you don't know, the 4x4 at In-N-Out Burger is four meat and four cheese. Um, I have ordered the 4x4 from In-N-Out Burger. Uh, it's a gut bomb. I didn't really enjoy it all that much. I mean, I, I enjoy anything from In-N-Out Burger, but I didn't enjoy it as much as the double-double because I feel like the whole meat to cheese to, to bun ratio was kind of out of whack on the 4x4. Um, uh, Movie Kid says, I'm not following the lockdown rules this time. It's ridiculous. Um, Michelle uh, gives a perspective on uh, Laughlin uh, to answer the earlier question. She says, no, don't do Laughlin. Nothing there but run down casinos. All right. Thanks for that perspective, Michelle. Um, let's see. Uh, and DLVTT also says, I would stay in Vegas and not go to Laughlin. Uh, Tony says, what's the temperature there today, Chris? Uh, today, the temperature here in Inland, Orange County, California, is, I'd say, about 72 degrees. I don't have a thermometer right here, but probably when I looked at it and when I listened to the news forecast, that's what they said it was, or that's what they said it was going to be. That's about what it feels like. I am wearing a t-shirt, and uh, I'm wearing pants. Uh, it is It is cool enough sitting in my backyard in the shade that I needed to wear pants. Though I went on a hike earlier this morning and I wore shorts. Um, Orca Production says yacht versus speedboat. Which one would you get, Chris? Definitely yacht. Definitely yacht. Like, I like the, I probably like that. There's a whole thing about a yacht. It seems luxurious. I don't, I don't need to go super fast and crash into something. Um, Susan uh, says, why the hell would you want to live in California? You know, I did a whole live stream about two weeks ago uh, about why I like to live in California and why I'm not leaving California. So if you really want to know the answer to that question, you can check out that live stream from a couple of weeks ago. Otherwise, the answer to that would take um, a whole hour. Uh, Black Wealth Matters says, hey, Chris, what's lockdown like in San Diego and what should I expect? I'm headed there for Christmas. I think the number one thing as a traveler to expect uh, is that um, the restaurants won't be serving anything uh, to eat in or to eat outside. So everything you're going to want to eat from a restaurant, you'll need to take home. Um, store capacity is limited to 20%. So expect lines at stores. We tried to visit the carlsbad outlet shops uh on saturday after we visited legoland and this was before the stay-at-home order so they were like limited to 50 percent capacity in the shops and they had long lines for the shops. so now with um 20 percent capacity i think a lot of shops will, will have really long lines and now you might be thinking but aren't chris aren't people supposed to stay at home I think a lot of people, like we've heard from uh, various comments, are just so tired and have quarantine fatigue that that they're still going to try to go out. And so that's why the government's trying to limit the capacity in the stores. Uh, Wu Tai says, lots of people moving to Texas. Do you think rental prices will ever drop a bit in SoCal? Um, no, not for coastal SoCal. Maybe for inland SoCal. You know, places like downtown Los Angeles and places that people go just to work, those places will probably have prices drop. Uh, but places that are like coastal Southern California, I think that's always going to stay really high because I think there's so many people that want to live by the coast that they live there regardless almost of whether there's good work or, or good paying jobs. Um, Northern California, on the other hand, um, rental prices have already dropped in like the San Francisco Bay Area because there were so many people that were just there to work at Google and Facebook. And as soon as they said, hey, you can work remotely, you don't have to work here, people are like, man, I'm out of here. I never liked this place very much to begin with. Um, Strawberry Puppy Kisses uh, says, how do you afford to live in California? I, you know, one thing about living in California is 
many jobs pay more in California. Um, like there's the the joke is that yeah, it costs more to live in California. Like we pay the sunshine tax because it's sunny all the time. Uh, but uh, because of that, jobs pay more. And so there's this whole thing about living in California and people who leave and try to come back. Like they never make enough money when they leave in the other jobs to then be able to buy a house when they come back because they weren't getting paid the California wages. And, and that was a big thing that like Google and Facebook said. They said, well, you know, we'll let you work remotely, but people who aren't going to live in California, we're not going to pay as much as we paid you when you live in California because the place you're living in doesn't cost the same amount as to live in California. Um, and I, I would also say that, um, you know, we don't, we don't have a very big house. We don't have a very big backyard. Like if you notice this backyard that I'm in, it's not, I'm not showing you like a lot of land, you know, we've got a fence here. It's, I don't know, this, our, our backyard is like 20, 20 feet, 20, 30 feet. Like, it's like an L shape. So over here, it's like, there's probably about 15 more feet of the yard this way. And then behind our house to this fence line is, is like eight feet. And then we got a little more room this way, maybe like 20 feet, but it's, it's a pretty small backyard. You couldn't, you know, I mean, so people who like, like to have a swimming pool or something, I mean, living in California, you can't. You can't have a lot of land unless you live uh, in the middle of nowhere. Tony P says the sunshine tax is that real? There is not a tax anywhere that's called sunshine tax. That's just the joke that people say about why does it cost more to live in California? Well, it's because we're we're paying the sunshine tax. Um, and uh, yes, uh, so being born in San Francisco, the sun in California does not shine all the time. It does not shine all the time, particularly in San Francisco, the foggy city. Um, and the Uniplex says, but you're sitting in a t-shirt in December in your backyard. Absolutely. I I love the weather in all of coastal California, um, from Southern California to San Francisco. Uh, you know, and even in San Francisco in the winter, you could sit outside in a t-shirt uh, in the winter. Um, Tony says, oh, in the UK, we have a sugar tax because you guys like sugar because everything has sugar. Uh, Elliot... Um, Says, uh, the too bad I won't be near Las Vegas around Jan 17 to 21 when we're going. Also, thank you for all the Laughlin uh, advice. There are no flights to Las Vegas. Uh, same to Biloxi for free. Uh, yeah, and Elliot, I really, I really do look forward to hearing from you uh, about what you think once you go. So uh, let me know. Um, and uh, Sailing Avocet also uh, pointed out the sunshine tax uh, is also in reference to not just the cost of living here but the california has crazy taxes on everything the sales tax is really high the income tax is really high the gas tax is really high um so there are a lot of tax on things <clears throat> eric wants to know uh what's our next adventure um it's hard to say right now because uh, you know we were like kind of doing the whole theme park thing right we did disneyland Knott's Berry farm legoland uh we probably would have checked out sea world and some of the other places that were doing like holiday stuff now those are all canceled uh i'm working on my california coastal series so a video i'm editing right now is um in newport beach uh, it'll probably be broken into two videos corona del mar and the newport beach proper where's our next big adventure that we're gonna go uh it's really still uh hard to say with everything uh, Jamie wants to know if I am drinking boba milk tea. I am drinking a royal number nine milk tea from the alley. It does not have any boba in it, but it is a blueberry flavored milk tea. It's really quite good. Uh, and Tony said in the UK they really have a sugar tax. That's awesome. I love it. Uh, and Jeff says one more thing about Laughlin in Vegas. He says, my dad went to Laughlin, was not impressed, and that was more than 30 years ago. Thank you for that perspective, Jeff. Uh, Charles wants to know, what can you do in California now? You can go to the beach. You can go for a hike. You can basically do outdoorsy things. Outdoor, physical, recreational activities are open. Indoor stuff pretty much closed. Shopping malls still open, um, but they're restricted to 20% capacity. Uh, Lisa says, I finally caught your live chat. Yay. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for joining me here in the uh, Yellow Productions backyard. Uh, and Yoshi says, California is on lockdown again. It is on lockdown again uh, starting today. 
Um, Tampier Kid says, ever been to San Jose or just drove through to San Francisco? Anything interesting there? Absolutely. I've been to San Jose a number of times. Uh, I like San Jose. Um, the Kind of like downtown San Jose is interesting to walk through. Um, there's also... Uh, probably my favorite attraction in San Jose is the Winchester House. The uh, wife of Mr. Winchester that invented the Winchester gun, you know, he died. And then she believed she was haunted by the ghosts of all the people that the Winchester guns had killed. And so in order to keep the ghosts away, she had to keep building her house. Because as long as people were working on building her house, the ghosts wouldn't haunt her. And so it's the most bizarre house ever. You can take a tour through it, and there's, like, staircases that lead to nowhere, uh, like a whole bunch of things that's just really wacky about this house because you can imagine a house that you just constantly kept building on. It gets really kind of weird. Um, Nightwolf Villa says, ever try surfing? Uh, yes, for sure. Um, I really like boogie boarding or body boarding uh, and surfing when I was in college, when I went to San Diego State University, I actually took a surfing class when I was 20 uh, because I was like, you know, I grew up in San Diego. I should learn to surf. And going to San Diego State University, I would uh, ask people, hey, why why did you choose San Diego State University? And they would say, well, uh, Chris, I, like, you know, coming, like, international students who are coming from the UK or Sweden or things like that, they would say, why? Simple. I, I came to San Diego to surf. And I'm like, well, I, I have to surf. And so you can take classes for credit for a grade at San Diego State University in surfing. And I did. And it was a lot of fun. Um, I have a couple of nine-foot longboards. I don't do it as much anymore just because we don't – we live like a 20-minute drive from the beach. But by the time I put the surfboard in the car and go there and this and that, like it's a lot of work. Um, whereas the boogie board is just a lot smaller and easier. Though uh, if you like see people boogie boarding, you know, there's like the casual boogie boarding where you just get the foam thing and jump on it when the waves gets there. I kind of do the more advanced version of it, which is like fins on my feet and webbed gloves um, to really be able to catch good waves. Uh, Vegas Smooch asks if there's still long lines in the food court at Mitsua in Costa Mesa. On weekends when they were open for indoor dining, there was. I don't believe there would be now because it's only takeaway. Um, and if you go there on weekdays, then it's generally not bad. By the way, if anybody's in Orange County, California, and like they're visiting here, they live here, and they want to know where I get a lot of my Japanese drinks or things like that, it's at this store, the Mitsua, Mitsua Supermarket in Costa Mesa, California. The other one I go to a lot is Tokyo Central, which is also in Costa Mesa, uh, near, near a big Ikea around here. Morton 11 says, Chris, I always smile when I look at you. I don't know why. Uh, well, thank you for that feedback, Morton. I'm glad to bring you some smiles. Kopitar wants to know if I've ever been to the Egyptian Museum in San Jose. I've never been to the Egyptian Museum in San Jose. Should I go? Am I missing out? Uh, Wazi says, hello from London, by the way. Enjoy your videos. Really helped us on our Pacific uh, coast road trip last year. Well, thank you, Wazi. Um, I would say top of the morning to you, but I think it's bottom of the evening to you. Uh, so thanks. Thanks for the love. Um, Mark wants to know if I listen to the Joe Rogan podcast, he talks about everything from MMA to UFOs. I, I occasionally watch some clips of Joe Rogan that are on YouTube. I don't particularly listen to uh, his podcast though. Uh, Casey Head wants to know if I'll be looking at traveling to New Zealand. Uh, eventually, I definitely want to make it to New Zealand. Colleen says she loves my new yellow uh, sneakers or runners. Uh, what make are they? Uh, great question, Colleen. So uh, if you didn't see it, I posted a little video clip on my community page and like an animated GIF or on Facebook. Uh, and I found these shoes because I was looking for yellow shoes in U.S. size 14. I have really big feet. Uh, and so these shoes are by a company called uh, Hoka One One. Uh, and they're the Bondi 6, Hoka, H-O-K-A, like 1-1, one, one. Uh, but it's in a, like a Pacific Islander language, so it's pronounced One One. Um, it's the same company that maybe makes like uh, Merrill and some of these other kind of more like hikey, outdoorsy type shoot. They're really super comfortable. Um, so I'd encourage you if you're looking for some kind of like thick padded shoes, and actually the reason why I got into those shoes is because 
I've always been a Nike fan. I've worn Nikes for a long time, but I found Nikes had this trend to be making their shoes thinner with less padding and narrower, which just doesn't work for me, which is why I went to look for others. And the Hoka One Ones have tons of padding, particularly the Bondi, B-O-N-D-I uh, model. Wu Tai asks if I've ever done kite surfing. No, I've never done kite surfing. Kite surfing is like one of the most dangerous uh, sports ever. Uh, and as we said, I'm fairly risk verse. Uh, Steven says, Hi Chris, I love your channel, especially the fact that you don't ask for money in return, unlike other YouTubers. Have you ever been or would you come to Scotland? Cheers from Edinburgh. Uh, thank you, uh, Stefan. Um, appreciate the kind words. Uh, I would love to go to Scotland. It's on our list. We had actually planned to go to Scotland last year. Um, and uh, then we didn't uh, because we found out Osegra was pregnant uh, with our first daughter. So we switched up to London instead because we figured it was an easier trip than doing like Scotland as a country. Uh, but my last name, Rainey, is a Scottish last name. Uh, and so actually, I really want to come to Scotland, the you know ancestral home of the Rainey family. Wild Foodie Tours just joined. Welcome, Wild Foodie Tours. Uh, thanks for joining the live stream. Big R Poker asks if I watch the NFL. I'm not a big football fan. I'm not a big organized sports fan in general. I like if I'm gonna watch a sport, I probably like surfing on TV or something like that. Um, Niles wants to know what I think about QAnon. I have no I have no opinion about QAnon. I don't know that I know enough about it to really say much of anything. Um, <laughs> Morton11 asks if I've ever been approached by boys, men. If so, how did you react? Uh, I grew up uh, in a part of San Diego that's like the um, the big LGBTQ part of San Diego. Uh, and so, I don't know, it's always been part of my life to see that. And it doesn't, it doesn't bother me, you know. Um, I... Uh, I'll say it's it's interesting uh, because in San Diego, the part of it that I lived in um, nearby uh, is where they would have the San Diego Gay Pride Parade. And that was also known for like a lot of people that worked in that area as an unofficial holiday because there were so many people that came there that people couldn't go to work. And so we had that uh, extra holiday in San Diego. Um, E. Hazel says, any awesome YouTube content planned whilst in lockdown? Uh, lots of awesome YouTube content planned. Um, what's it going to be? Hard to say. And but Chris, it's planned, isn't it? You know, I change up things regularly. Like I had planned to do a different live stream tomorrow, but then when the lockdown hit, I'm like, I'm doing a live stream. Just Q&A, general Q&A. In the backyard, it's part of lockdown. So um, I will be continuing my California series. So expect more from Newport Beach, by Huntington Beach, and working my way up that way. Eric wants to know why yellow, favorite color. Uh, so I answer this in more detail in my frequently asked questions video. So you can search for Yellow Productions um, FAQ. Uh, but very briefly, why yellow? It's because my car is yellow. Uh, if you haven't seen my yellow car, if you watch my road trip tips video, then you'll see my yellow car. And so that's why yellow. It's funny, you know, I'm looking off camera because there's a squirrel right over here. You can't see, I can't swivel the camera around because it's too far out of my reach but there's a squirrel walking on the 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 um the wall top over that way which is probably the squirrel that's been knocking down my christmas lights i have this like five foot tall illuminated christmas lamp and every morning i come out and i find it knocked down and i'm sure it's that squirrel that's uh running on it uh, Niles wants to know if I've ever visit Sacramento. I would like to visit Sacramento. Um, we've we've flown into and out of Sacramento on our way to like Lake Tahoe, but we've never really done um, Sacramento justice. Tish wants to know if I've ever visited Mexico. Yes, uh, Tijuana, number of times growing up in San Diego, uh, and then for our honeymoon we visited Cabo San Lucas. Uh, I've never done. Uh, we've never done Cancun or places like that, or Playa del Carmen. Uh, I would like to. Uh, we just haven't made it there yet. Um, we we had an opportunity to visit uh, X X Carrot X Carrot. Uh, there's like a kind of like a theme park down there near Cancun, uh, but that was also right at the time that we found out we were blessed with a little one in OC Girl's belly, so that uh, that trip did not materialize. Um, 
And Mr. JC said, hello, love the show. Do you drink alcohol? What's your favorite drink? Do I drink alcohol? Yes. Do I drink a lot of alcohol? No. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of alcohol. For the most part, drinks that are really alcoholic, I just don't like the taste. Uh, if I drink beer, I like Japanese beers like Asahi and Sapporo on draft because they're just kind of like light-ish. Um, so I like alcoholic drinks that don't really taste like alcohol. Uh, my favorite drink is, is tea. I drink a lot of tea drinks. Um, da, 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 da. Great dog trick says, any timeline when Disneyland Universal will be opening? No. I think Disneyland has decided they're just going to be closed for a long time. Um, Gil says, love all your content. I've booked a trip to Vienna. Watch all your videos this afternoon. Really helpful. Thanks, Gil. I appreciate the kind words. Sonia uh, says, favorite Christmas movie. Um, I I think any one of the Chevy Chase movies, uh, like the Griswolds and that sort of stuff. Um, I love those Christmas movies. Um, Heather asks, what's my favorite Australian city to visit? I love Brisbane. Uh, I've not been to all of Australia, but I really loved, I love Melbourne. I did Sydney and Melbourne as kind of the two big cities, and I, I just kind of loved the European vibe of Melbourne with the trams and the food halls. Um, while foodie tours, San Diego, woo -woo, just realized you went to San Diego State. What a small world. Go Aztecs, wild foodie tours. Uh, Nightwolf asks if I'm into martial arts due to my love of Asia. I've never really gotten into martial arts. Um, so, I mean, I like kung fu movies and things like that. Great Dog Tick says, are we going to see new videos about the LA Rams Chargers Stadium area? Hmm, I don't know. If they do tours or things like that, maybe, but it's not high on my list. Uh, Kopitar asks if I've ever been to Arcata and the Redwoods. I don't think I've been to Arcata, but I have, um, near Santa Cruz, there's a really neat, um, steam train that goes through the Redwoods there. Uh, if you haven't seen that, if you watch my Santa Cruz video, um, you'll see the bit on that. The Redwoods are really neat. Um, Morton says, thanks for the answer. I know you're straight, but I think you're just adorable. Well, thank you, uh, Morton11. Uh, Sean says, what about Atlantic City and the Jersey Shore? I always wanted to get over there. When we lived on the East Coast, I wanted to visit there. We never made it. Um, so uh, maybe one day in the future. Black Pen Red Pen says, I went to the Amazon Fresh and Woodland Hills after I watched your review about the one in Irvine. You should do more supermarket reviews. Supermarkets are hard to film in, um, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll consider that and see, you know, maybe some of the Japanese markets or, or things like that. Uh, Brandon says X carrot is amazing. Cool, Brandon. If I ever get the opportunity to go again, uh, I will add that to my list. Randy asks, I've seen the squirrel trap video by Mark Rober. I have. It's an amazing video. And I actually, I thought about that as I saw the squirrel. Um, and I, I, I just, I couldn't channel it on live streams because my brain doesn't necessarily, uh, work all that well to remember specific things when I'm trying to live stream and read comments and click on things. Uh, Tony P86 says, I love National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2. That's the Chevy Chase movie. Thank you very much for the title. NDN uh, Renish says, would it be okay to visit Chicago during the winter looking for a lot of snow and activities that go with it? Do you know if things are open up there? I don't know the status in Chicago. Um... I don't know that I have a good answer for you. If anybody on the live chat is in Chicago, uh, please let a fellow explorer know. Uh, Stefan says, how long did it take to feel comfortable filming in public? You always seem to manage the crowds, especially photo bombers. Cheers. Uh, how long? Well, I've been doing this YouTube channel. Oh, there's a spider in front of the lens. Small spider. I've been doing this YouTube channel since 2008. Uh, and I would say when I, when I really like became comfortable and decided like okay i'm a youtuber now um maybe maybe five years ago something like that so what 2008 now it's 2020 you know is that like seven years something like that i mean i think that the the biggest the biggest like epiphany in my head about filming in public is that most people who like come up to watch or come up to form a crowd, they're just actually really interested to see what's going on before it would be like, oh, I don't, 
I don't know if I can talk because I'm, I'll be embarrassed or whatever. But like when people stop and look, it's because they're like, oh, this is really interesting. I want to see it. Um, you know, and it's okay to be like, okay, I didn't like that. Take two, take three, take four. Uh, and so I just, I just do that. And then sometimes afterwards, actually almost all the time, then people are like, oh, what are you filming it for? And I always have a stack of Yellow Productions business cards that then I can hand out to people to be like, oh, yeah, check out the, check out the channel. Uh, Nick J says, can you be arrested, fined in California if you were caught by police performing non-essential travel during the lockdown? Uh, I believe the governor answered this question on one of his things, and he said, you know, that, uh, yes, if you don't follow the order, you could be subject to, a, like, a misdemeanor or fines. Um, Colleen asks if we can still go out and drive and look at Christmas lights. That's safe. Yes, I believe we still can. Um, so I believe we'll still be doing that. Um... Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Strawberry Puppy Kisses says, I was planning on a Japan trip next year, but now I don't know. Um, I think, like, assuming that, you know, the vaccine is available to people, to, like, regular people, um, you know, in, in summer time frame this year, then, then I, I, I think, like, after the Olympics in Japan would probably be a, a reasonable time. But again, that's my uh, crystal ball that maybe doesn't always work perfectly. Kirk wants to know, what power tools do I have? Hmm. I'm not a super handy guy. I'm a kind of handy guy, but I'm not a super handy guy. Like, I'm not like a home improvement kind of like, you know, handy guy. Uh, I have a uh, power drill. I have a power screwdriver. I've got like a roto zip. I've got... Um, uh, chainsaw. Um, I think those are the main power tools that I have. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Kirk says, do Japanese people still like Godzilla? I think so. Um, next to none says, don't understand how my simple question got looked over. Ask it again. Uh, occasionally when I get behind on questions, I just I just declare question bankruptcy and uh, go to the beginning because my questions scroll on the pages. So ask your question again and make sure it has a question mark at the end of it. Um, Marshmallow says, do you speak any other languages other than English? If not, what languages are on your wish list of learning? Uh, um, yo hablo espanol, little bit poquito. Uh, just growing up in Southern California, you know, I took two semesters of Spanish. I'd speak it with the worst accent ever. Um, and uh, uh, I speak a little bit of Mandarin Chinese, and I speak enough Japanese to like order a restaurant, to order my gyoza, my pot stickers, my, my mizu, uh, my water, my biru, my beer. Uh, as I said, uh, beer in Japan being one of the few places that I drink beer. Uh, the Uniplex asks, if I, ever think, if I ever thought that I and George Clooney would have so much in common, I never thought that George Clooney and I would have so much in common. Um, da, 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 da. And uh, if, you, if you didn't hear, that was that George Clooney and I both used the Floby to cut our hair. Ezekiel asks how my day is. My day been pretty good so far. Uh, I went uh, this morning for a little bit of a hike and exercise with a little explorer, had some tacos for lunch, hanging out with y'all. Uh, so I have no complaints. Staying at home is what we're doing. I'm looking at the squirrel that's over there again. Squirrel! Uh, Tracy says, is Laguna Beach suitable for a family holiday with two kids under five? I think so. Uh, Laguna Beach is a, I would call it a great family-friendly destination. Um, Laguna Beach is one of my favorite beaches in Southern California. Uh, NCR asks if I own firearms. Um, it depends. Are you asking this to know whether I'm um, armed up like to protect my house or not? Uh, <laughs> and uh, so uh, I, I would say um, we're how, how should I how should I answer this? I'll answer this this way. I'll answer this by telling an interesting story. So when I was in uh, college at uh, San Diego State University, one of my professors called me up at the end of class and said, uh, "Hey, Rainey," and he called up someone else uh, and said, "Hey, I have, a, I have a question for the two of you. Have the two of you ever shot shotguns?" And we and we looked at each other and we looked back at him. And, and then he didn't, we didn't even answer. And he's like, well, tell you what, this Saturday, meet me, you know, at this trap and skeet club in San Diego, and we're going to shoot some shotguns. And I want to talk to you about, um, a school project. Uh, and that was like the first, that was the first time we ever shot shotguns. Um, 
I think I did okay on the ones that was like the skeet shooting, that it just comes out of a single spot. Though the one where like the targets move, that was that was actually really hard. Um, let's see. Uh, Gabriel asks, uh, my channel is great. I'm a San Diegan too. Thank you, Gabriel. Um, and uh, Gabriel says, I went to San Clemente. It was a great day trip. That's great to hear. Hopefully you uh, saw some cool stuff in San Clemente from that video. Uh, Kopitar says, uh, what's your favorite Hawaiian island? Is Lanai worth the cost to stay there? I don't think so. I mean, there's plenty of great beaches. I don't think you need to take a boat and spend, you know, $700 a night on Lanai. Um, so, uh, my favorite Hawaiian island is, uh, Oahu because I really like the food or, uh, Maui for the actual beaches. My favorite beach in, um... My favorite beach in Hawaii is Wailea in Maui, and my favorite hotel is the Andas in Maui. Uh, great dog. Trick says, is Super Mario World on your list when you visit Japan next? It sure is. It's at the Universal Studios in Hawaii. We Not Hawaii. Japan. We want to go. Daniel asks about my thoughts about cryptography. It's good. I think being able to have private conversations is good. I also think that math is hard. Those are my thoughts. Um, the War on SJW says, what are the best Bay Area cities to visit? Uh, I like San Francisco. Uh, I think Palo Alto's kind of neat. like to visit Stanford. I think Santa Cruz is pretty fun. Um, I think Monterey is sort of neat. That's like sort of south of the Bay Area. North, Napa and Sonoma are worth a visit. That's kind of probably what I would do. If you like dim sum, Chinese food dim sum, uh, my favorite dim sum restaurant in the U.S. is uh, in Daly City, California, just outside of San Francisco International Airport. It's called Koi Palace, K-O-I, like the goldfish. Uh, Koi Palace, uh, it's amazing dim sum. Uh, tastes just like a dim sum restaurant in Hong Kong. Colleen asks if I ever uh, thought I would need to scroll proof your computer. I never thought I would need to scroll proof your computer, but, may but my computer. But maybe if I plan to do more live streams outside, then maybe I need to. Um, Let's see. Uh, Tracy says, we're hoping to fly to Vegas next March. Caesars, Bellagio, or Aria, what's your favorite? Uh, of those three, uh, I would pick either Caesars or Bellagio. Aria is just kind of in the back of the city center, and so it just doesn't feel like it's center strip. Um, if you're doing Caesars, then I'd try to get like into the Augustus Tower, like one of the new renovated towers. Um, but uh, I think of the three, I would probably pick the Bellagio. Um, I think it's neat. Like, especially if you can get, like, a room with a fountain view. I mean, that's, that's just super classic. Uh, but my favorite hotel in Vegas is the Venetian Hotel. I like the Venetian the best. Um... Tree asks if I'm a fan of Gavin Newsom, uh, and there were some comments about, like, oh, Chris, you're getting some personal questions, uh, and uh, I have no comment because I, I don't really want to get into politics on this stream. Um, Strawberry Puppy Princess says the Mandarin Oriental is the best hotel in Vegas. It's the no longer the Mandarin Oriental. It's now the Waldorf Astoria. I, I also really like the Waldorf Astoria. I should have mentioned that. And if you want a non-casino hotel that isn't the Waldorf Astoria, I also like the Marriott Grand Chateau. Um, uh, maybe the question about not cryptography, but about uh, like crypto coins, like, uh, you know, bit whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think that's all just kind of crazy stuff. <laughs> so, because uh, you can't spend it most places, right? I mean, maybe someday, maybe someday, but today it's kind of still an esoteric techie thing. Um, I think I already answered the Super Mario Land question. Um, Stefan says, have you spent any time in Carmel? I really like Carmel. It's a super neat place to explore. We usually stay in Monterey when we go to Carmel. Um, and yes, uh, we've eaten at that Clint Eastwood restaurant, which uh, the food's really good and it's neat. Um, let's see. Uh, Morton11 says, your videos are perfect. Sometimes the comments are controlled. Uh, my troll farms like the Amazon grocery store, but I know it's not your fault. Um, yeah, I don't know why I get a lot of trolls and on my Amazon video, there's a lot of like 
uh, Amazon haters. Um, and, you know, I kind of, I do delete some comments, uh, but I, you know, I, I want to draw the line where I'm not the, the Twitter fact checker that's like censoring everybody. Um, so I generally only delete comments that are like, uh, really outrageously trollish that are insulting and and so there's others that I leave there um, because uh, they're not as outrageous but I, I don't respond to them because I don't like to feed the trolls <laughs> Uh, love, love, love your channel. Value trip advice outside of the Las Vegas trip. What is your favorite resort hotel? Uh, in Las Vegas, if we mean that uh, off the strip, then I like the JW Marriott in Las Vegas. Uh, outside of that, the Ondas in Maui that I mentioned is my favorite resort hotel in the world is the Ondas in Maui. You need to get the breakfast buffet when you go there because it's amazing. Um, 3M asks if I hear them. I hear you. Uh, Dustin uh, says, Chris, what do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I work in the computer industry on computer software. Uh, more than just music, ask if I vacationed in Australia. I've been to Australia a couple times, a um, couple trips. Uh, I went to Melbourne, I went to Sydney, and I've uh, also visited uh, Adelaide or some of the places I've been to there. Briggs uh, says, uh, oh, Wu Tai says, I hear you. 3M1N2N. Hard channel name to say. Tree says, I think you're a cool guy, Chris. I would protect you if you were ever in trouble. I appreciate that, Tree. And you've got, you know, you got some muscles. So I would appreciate your protection. Um, Chase says, nice backyard. Who does the gardening? Uh, two answers. Um, so OC Girls uh, mom has been staying with us to help us with uh, care of our little one. Uh, and so she does a lot of the gardening. We also have somebody uh, that comes once a month to, who's a real gardener who helps with the pruning and the roses and things like that. Because otherwise we'd probably prune them and, and kill them. Uh, and MP says, Chris, sorry I was late. Is that your backyard? If so, really, really nice. I am jealous. This is our backyard. Welcome to it. Uh, MacGyver's pen, our bunny, is just over here, which you can't see because it's off camera. Barbecue's over there. Maybe some other time you'll get to see more of the backyard, but right now, yes, this is the, the corner of our backyard. These boxes right here, this is a question about firearms. These planters that we have back here, three-tier planters, ready to be handy. I... I built this three-tier planter. Those boxes are rifle boxes uh, that we got them out of like a like a army surplus store um, for like twenty bucks. For these rifle boxes, and then I put the brackets and the two by fours on. Again, that's that's about as handy as I get. Yes, it's the time you've been waiting for. It's time for the giveaway. All right, it is time for the giveaway. We've been going for just about 90 minutes. I went into bonus time on this live stream because uh, y'all were just so cool today, and it was great to hang out with you here at the beginning of California's lockdown. Uh, so today, as usual, I'll be giving away a Yellow Productions Crew shirt. you got to answer one of my questions correctly. Now, this is a question that you have to have watched my last video to know the answer to it, my last video about Legoland. If you watched my video about Legoland, then you'll know the answer to this question, which is, what did we eat? eat when we were in Legoland. We only ate one thing. It was a dessert item. If you can tell me in the chat of this live stream what dessert item that was, the first person wins the Yellow Productions Crew shirt shipped to them anywhere in the world. If you don't win one and you want to pick one up, you can find them from my Etsy shop. You will find a link in the description to that. Uh, I think you could also buy them on YouTube if that's in your region, and if so, they might be on the screen. Uh, now, there's always a question about, Chris, when is your next live stream? And so I also want to let you all know about kind of a new thing I've done, because a lot of people say they aren't getting YouTube notifications, uh, particularly emails anymore, about live streams and new videos. And so I want to let you know I'm setting up a Yellow Productions update email list where I'm just going to send out emails about when I have live streams planned and when new videos come out. If you would like to sign up for that, head over here to update dot yellow productions dot com 
and enter your email address there to sign up. I promise never to spam you or send you any advertisements. I will just send you emails about when live streams are planned so you don't miss them in the future and when new Yellow Productions videos come out since YouTube is no longer sending emails. All right, in the chat, I see some answers and I'm gonna go for the first full complete answer. And here we go. The first full, complete answer. There were a number of people said apples, sliced apples, but the full answer, Mike Fitz. And now we have a winner, winner chicken dinner. Has the right answer with the granny apple fries. That's right. At Legoland, California, their signature dessert are these fried apple slices that have cinnamon sugar and uh, whipped cream. They're really quite good if you ever go to Legoland in California. I assume they probably have them in Florida too. Never been to the Florida one to know. Well, Mike, you win a Yellow Productions Crew shirt. You can send me an email to chris at yellow.net. Two W's. Um, chris, why, why is your email at yellow.net with two W's and not at the update site that you just put on there because uh, I had the domain with yellow.net with two W's before I registered the Yellow Productions one. Uh, or you can send me a message on Facebook. Let me know your address and what size of shirt that you want. Uh, link is also in the description for that. Uh, oh, and also if you want to pick up a shirt yourself too, link for that is in the description as well. And that link for this... Uh, is also in the description if you just want to go click on it. That makes it nice and easy. Uh, and I know at least 30 or 40 of you have signed up already from when I put the notifications on the page. And you might be wondering, why did you not update us on this live stream? Well, you will get updates on the next one because uh, I'm officially launching the mailing list on this live stream. Well, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you all in the next video. If you're in California and you're locked down, you know, keep up the spirit, keep it happy, do the things you can, get outside, exercise, uh, and we'll all we'll all get through it.